Hello YouTube. Um, today I am here completely no makeup and all because I feel like making a video about something I like to call the X Factor. Um, the X Factor is a little theory of mine. Um, I know it's also a, like a, a movie or TV show or something like that, but that's not what I'm talking about. I'm just talking about the X Factor. X Factor, um, which is how I feel about X's and X situations and stuff like that. Um, the X Factor theory that I have is that anybody that you have ever had some sort of sexual or romantic relationship with, whether it be physically or emotionally, um, that it always affects how you act towards them. And I know that sounds like something that you would like normally think like, well, yeah, duh, if you, you know, fooled around with them or something, why wouldn't it like, you know, like kind of affect how you like treat them or whatever. Well, I'm talking about a little bit deeper than that. Um, what I mean is that, you know how, like, when people tell you, like, oh, we just, you know, we had sex that one time and it was never anything and I'm really, like, I'm not into it and stuff like that. That, that, that may be totally true, you know, like, and maybe it did just happen the one time and maybe it did just, you know, not mean anything to either of them and they both just walked away like a better person because of it and just got the jollies off, whatever works. But what I'm referring to is, like, that is always going to be lingering around. That is always going to be a part of how you treat them and how you react to everything that they do. Like, if they text you and be like, fuck you, it might mean to you a little bit more than, um, you know, it would if just it was somebody that you had never even had that type of relationship with. Or it could work in the total opposite way. I'm not saying that, like, if you have, you know, if you've fooled around with somebody one time, you're always going to be, like, somewhat like nicer or really like, sweeter to them I'm talking about just like sometimes it's for the best sometimes it's for the worst sometimes you know you sleep with somebody it was horrible and you have like a terrible experience because of it and you're just like oh no I never ever want to talk to this person again or you date them and it doesn't even mean sleeping with you know it doesn't even have to be sexual just you have an intimate relationship with them on a higher level than friendship I mean but it's always something that lingers around so like I guess what even brought this on is that I've had so many people tell me in the past, like, just because they're my ex, it doesn't mean that it's going to, you know, make me treat them any differently than I'd ever treat any of my other friends. Well, that's just bullshit. Um, I mean, you may just see them as a friend and you may still treat them on totally respected friendship levels. Um, it may just stay completely within the friendship bounds, but at the same time, you're always going to, like, think of them a little bit differently because, you know, you've seen them naked or because you, you know, kissed them or, you know, you had a really deep connection with them at one point. So, you know, maybe you're always a little nicer to them or maybe, you know, like, you cared about them a lot and they totally just crushed your heart by never reciprocating those feelings. Um, or maybe they did for a little while and, like, led you on and then, like, nothing ever happened because of it, but maybe you're always just a little tiny bit resentful. I mean, I think it's always kind of a subconscious thing that people at least sort of put it into their decision-making process of just being around people. I mean, if you have relationships with people, it's going to obviously affect your thoughts, your life. I mean, your experiences affect your life and how everything works, but... I'm talking about the people who make a bigger impact in your heart or brain are always going to register a little bit differently than people that you've never touched. It's it's not something that's like, oh, they're lying about it or they're like keeping it from you. It's just something that human nature, I think, is just kind of bound to, you know? I mean, if you've been intimate or close to or whatever with somebody, then it's always going to hit you on a deeper core level than somebody that you would never, ever even do that with and who has never thought of you that way. I mean, it's just different. And I'm not saying that, like, friends you would care about more or less because you never have had that connection with. I'm just saying that the people that go around constantly saying, oh, just because they're my ex, it, it doesn't mean anything. There's nothing there. There's there's, it's, it doesn't affect me in any way. It does affect you. And it's just, I guess it's just a pet peeve of mine that I'm just kind of complaining about. But either way, it feels good to talk about it. Um, <laughs> uh, I don't know. It's just, it's frustrating to constantly hear that from somebody and just know that, like, just accept the reality of it. You're lying to yourself. It's going to be okay. You know, it happens to everybody. I mean, I even do it, you know. Uh, there's some exes of mine that I'm totally, totally rude to because of the shit that they put me through. 
And then there's other exes of mine that I, like, totally adore because they're just awesome people and because I've known them so long. But it's just, I wish people would stop being so in denial about it and stop acting like it's such a big deal and such a bad thing. I mean, honestly, it's not that bad of a thing. If your ex, if you, you fooled around with somebody or, like, something and you don't tell somebody, you know, that is kind of a big deal because it does matter. You know, it does affect how you react to them and in situations that involve them. And I think that's important to tell somebody that you're with. And, <clears throat> but at the same time, the people that hear about that or the people who have partners who do tell them about it, really just like listen to it and take into consideration that they're telling you. So obviously it means that it's something that they want you to know about for whatever the reason. And be happy that they're being honest with you about it and not, like, just denying that there's anything even evident in there. Just be like, yeah, something happened a long time ago. You know, it's in the past and we've moved on from it. Not it doesn't exist. <laughs> you know, it's just, that's my thoughts and opinions on it. I mean, take it as you want it. But that's just my little rant today. I just hate people who say that um, exes don't mean anything. And <laughs> there is an X factor in every single, like, past type of a relationship on a deeper level. Um, that's my thought on it. I mean, I'm not trying to, like, get an argument started or anything like that. But that's just my factor on the X theory. Um, or the theory on the X factor. Whatever. X theory, X factor. But, um, yeah. I hope you enjoyed. Later, YouTube.